Hi guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I've got another Taiwan gun order unboxing for you. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this video today, please do like and subscribe because you will be really helping me out. So today we've got yet another Taiwan gun order come in. Uh, this is filmed middle of uh, lockdown, so obviously if I do the unboxings, uh, I'm not able to go out and shoot at the minute, um, but obviously we can see what goodies are in here as a bit of a preview as to what's coming up. So I'll uh, get through the uh, packaging. They've sent it in a massive box, and the box is, is pretty big. It's, you know, my camera is as, as zoomed as high up as it can go and as zoomed out as it, as it can go, and I still can't get in all of this stuff. So just cut through all of this. out of the way oh man now I've got some cool stuff in here I've got a couple of AKs user requests and I've got a sniper rifle user request and an M4 variant as a user request as well so ooh, hello let's have a look so first out the top there that is for my R31 CO2 uh, M1911 I've got a couple of mags uh, to take it up to three. I think I'm going to keep that and run it with the mags themselves. We've got the free team armband from Taiwan Gun that comes uh, with your order. It's one of the selectable freebies, so I'm happy with that. Got the upgrade parts for something that's in here, the Well MBO2, um, like the VSR clones. So this, this is the 500 FPS upgrade kit. Um, that was really, really cheap. We've then got the, is it the Balaclava? What is that? Must be the balaclava. It is the balaclava uh, for a joke, funny uh, loadout that I've got planned. I'm sure I will make a video about it uh, in in future, complete with pictures of the gun that's in this order actually, and the uh, loadout itself. I then got a mag pouch. I needed a triple AK mag pouch, and it's in like a, a dark black multicam. Uh, nice thick fit uh, AK mags in there. We'll have a look in a minute because there's a couple of AKs in here. Bit of silica gel, get that out of the way. And here is the first, oh, the lipo. Uh, one of the guys has ordered a few lipos, so this is a sneaky, uh, wanted some lipos. So the first one then is, aha, it's the MBO3. So let's, so that's in a, a shrink wrapping. Open that up. I did say MBO2 earlier, didn't I? I meant MBO3, never mind. So, I'll tell you what, let's lift this big box out of the way. And here it is the first one out of the order. So, it is in two parts. Um, so you got a little bit of a, a manual explaining how to assemble it and how to adjust the hop unit, load the, mat, the mags, silica gel, cheap BBs, we'll leave those in there, cheap sling, leave that in there. Uh, we've got a uh, speed loader and a couple of mags, which is nice. There's the main body of the rifle. There's uh, some nice weight to that. It is looking nice. Unfortunately, it's not the short barreled one. Literally the day after I'd ordered this, somebody had re specifically requested for the short barrel one. So I'm sorry that I'd missed out on your request. I did order the uh, normal length one. It's got a breeze rail uh, on the front there for a scope. We've then got the, oh, there's an actual extra mag in there. So we've got three mags. I am happy with that. Uh, not that I'm a, a sniper myself. I don't have an awful lot of patience for it, unfortunately. But I can understand why a lot of people like sniping. So you've got the stock there. Um, I'm guessing that's a, an attempt to clean in rod. Um, it's a bit bizarre, but whatever. Uh, the front riz is wobbly there because one of the stock screws that mounts it to the body will go through that point there. So nice looking piece of kit. Um, we'll see what it's like, obviously compared to like the uh, SEMA variant of this, uh, and that kind of thing. It is doing about, I think it's about 400 FPS, 450 FPS out of the box. So I'll slide that to one side. Let's see what else is in here. So we've got another battery out of the way. And now we've got, oh, an AK, the CM028. So this was requested by one of the viewers who wanted to see the CM028 and see what it was like. Lift the lid, 
this is a little bit more expensive than the, um, I don't remember the model numbers, I want to say 522 off the top of my head. Um, so this has been downgraded to sort of just over 330 FPS, which is absolutely perfect. You get the chrono sheet, um, there it is. I'm guessing, I think this is about 70 or 80 pound. Uh, now there is definitely more metal on there, you've got a metal top cover. It's a bit of a light gray though, it's obviously like a silvery gray color, uh, but there's a hell of a lot more metal on here. It's not all plastic externals. You have got fake wood uh, panels and the battery goes in the stock there to a little mini Tamiya, that's nice thick cabling. Um, obviously we know the FPS it's doing, it is looking quite nice and this is gonna be the uh, project gun for my uh, joke loadout. Get the mag in there. That is a nice looking piece of kit. Um, not, not mega keen on the light gray, but that won't matter before long. That, that possibly gives you some hints to what I'm gonna do to it. Uh, so, you've got metal high cap. Obviously, SEMA makes some good stuff. You've got a NIM type battery in there to mini Tamiya. You've got the European style charger. You've got, oh my God, that's an, actually a spare hot unit. Uh, wow, that's actually a spare hot unit. I wonder if this is the one for the, oh, it's, it's for the 41. Ah, brilliant, absolutely fantastic, that's lovely. Um, Taiwan gun, if you see this, thank you very much. That's actually the replacement hot unit for the MP5 with the correct adjuster bar on it because the AK adjustment bar comes off the front and it actually says 041 on it. So I'm happy with that, that they have chucked that in there. Thank you very much. I'll make sure I send you a quick email thanking you for that immensely. Put that in there for now so I don't lose it. I'm looking forward to uh, unboxing this properly though and seeing what the uh, rate of fire is like and to see what the uh, the internals are like when I do a disassembly. And another battery. And this time got another gun. This should be the CM515 that was the user request. So this is the one dual version, so this didn't need downgrading because it's already below 350 FPS, and I, I believe they're about 330. But I will chrono this one when I do a proper unboxing. So I'm just gonna peel that back. That, wow, that's well shrink wrapped. Again, absolutely bargain price. Um, it is very, very light, but it's comfortable, nice nice shaped pistol grip. You've got your key mod Haddon guard on the front there, looking very similar to the 621. Uh, you've got the extended barrel, that is metal there, but plastic, never mind. But that is a nice looking piece of kit. Uh, they've put one of the dodgy weird stocks on it, that'll need a modification. I will do a video on how to modify that as well to uh, be better to use. The modification that I'm going to do is best if you've got a Dremel or something like that just to help uh, etch the plastic off uh, easier and stuff. But you also get the battery in there, a little bag of BBs. The little sling is a nice addition, but I can pretty much promise you or guarantee you it won't last past the uh, first couple of games that you play with this uh, rifle. So you're better off with another sling. So box that back up. I do like that though, I like the extended barrel out the front. I'm assuming the inner barrel goes the full length as well. Now we've got something wrapped up, this should be, aha, it is indeed. So, piece of cardboard, just what I ordered. Uh, it's actually the inner barrel for the MBO2, it's a type bar, it's 6.03 type bar. This was literally, I think, three pounds. I think it, I don't even think that was on offer, it was just three pounds. The quality is obviously yet to be observed. We'll, we'll see about that. It is spotlessly clean down there and it is looking rather nice uh, down there. I can't see any sort of obvious defects or anything like that. It's looking very, uh, very good. Get that out of the way. We've got yet another battery. It's sneaky needed all new batteries. And another battery. And another battery. And then, I don't remember what this, ah, we ordered, Sneaky ordered some Deans because he's converting all of his stuff to Deans. So I'll just make sure there is something else in the bottom there. Ah, it is, I bought a replacement hot rubber 
to put on the type ball barrel in the MBO2 so we can do a little bit of an up upgrading. Uh, first thing I want to do before I do that though is I want to film it shooting as it is out of the box so you guys can see what it's like out of the box. So I've got some connectors, get those out of the way, and the bubble wrap. And then, last but not least, it's another AK. I'm a little bit excited about this one because I do love AKs. Here we go. Arr. Here we go. So, little sheet, little manual. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, my God. That weighs, that, that is weighty as well. It's like the AK, uh, the uh, CM048M. It's got beautiful wood. They've done a really good job with sort of staining it and, and painting it up. It, it's uh, vanishing it. It feels lovely, particularly the bottom half is really smooth. Uh, you've got some nice grain in there. It just feels lovely. It's absolutely rock solid. I can see, as you can see there, there is definitely blue components in there. So they've gone for the upmarket of bits. Um, you know, since I used to play the original Battlefield back on the Xbox 3, uh, Battlefield 2 on the Xbox 360, and uh, one of the loadouts could take the AK-74SU, with a big PBS silence on it, I do love it. I just think they look awesome. Um, and that, you know, with a mag, it just looks awesome. Really, really impressed with that. So you've got a nice high cap in there. You've got your battery that goes in the top cover. You've got a, I assume that's the downgrade spring because that's quite soft. Uh, the box wasn't shrink wrapped, so I do wonder if it's already below 350, but we'll check that out. You get your little bag of BBs and you get your charger as well in there. Obviously, I'm in the UK, that's not good to me, but if you're in Europe, uh, that's uh, obviously helpful to you to charge the included NIM battery, but please don't use that um, with a LiPo because you will explode your LiPo. Um, it clicks into place. Actually, based on that marking, I think they have actually uh, probably downgraded it, possibly just forgot to put the sheet in. So, absolutely fantastic. Full metal hop unit, just wow, I am absolutely pleased to bits with that uh, i am looking forward to getting the unboxings done now i hope that's uh, been useful to you i hope you're ex as excited about unboxing all of these as i'm going to be and obviously this has served as a little bit of a what's to come on my channel really for you to be aware of what's coming up soon uh, let me know in the comments below which one you would like to see unboxed first and i will make sure that happens whichever is the most popular choice and I will see you another time. Thanks a lot. Please do like and subscribe. Bye.